Hello, hello, hello. Are you ready to do this task with me? I'm not ready, I'm scared. But I just want to address, I'm on my period, I've got no makeup, well I've got minimal makeup on, I just covered my spots, I'm not really looking the best. But I thought I'm not going to dress up to literally be covered in clothes. So, we're going to pull everything out. I'm fucking scared. We're going to pull everything out, we're going to get rid of things, we're going to be disciplined and... We're going to be organised. We're going into our organised, clean era and we're going to try and stay there. I do not need all of these clothes. But I'm a shopaholic. So I thought we could do it before and then we could just make some big changes. We're going to go through my drawers. We're going to do as much as we can. I was hoping to get this up tonight but we've had a meeting this morning. It's 12 o'clock. Not going to happen. It's going to be up tomorrow. So let's do a, let's do a before. So this is the state of the one wardrobe, two, three, four, and then, yep. Yeah. And there is some washing downstairs. I kind of just want to make this, like I'm not happy with the layout. So I kind of want to change that out. And I just do not need all these tracksuits. I don't need, I don't need a lot of these things. So I thought we could literally just say bye bye. And yeah, I'm scared. It's, it's a big mess. It's a big, big mess. Let's do this. I I don't know where to start. I really don't. I don't know whether I see if I can find things. Hang on. I don't know whether I can should see if I can find things that I just know I'm not going to wear and just pull them straight out. I feel like that would be a good place to start. Do you agree? Let's start in the jacket. So little crop blazer, love... I'm a jacket, love. Oh, I've got these short and shirt. I probably would wear it. I just haven't had a chance yet. I'm just going to go through and see. Do these have a... I don't even think these trousers have a button. What's wrong with them? Or are they fine? Oh, maybe they're fine. Um, Wear that, wear that. It's hard when it's like the odd other season of what it is like I feel like because it's winter summer I'm like oh, I can get rid of that but I might want it in winter you know I love these but I've never worn them they're from Club Air London and they're these sets and it's like a jogger and a matching shirt but I just never have I've never I'd never reach for it let's have a look I thought we could just try bits on and just seriously like, I just think they're too long. I don't like that. Right, we're getting rid of that. I'm going to chuck everything in the hall that I don't want. The joggers I do like, but I don't know if I would wear them on their own. To be honest, they're really good quality. And Club Air is such a good brand. But, like, would I wear these on their own? Maybe I would. Let's put them on the floor and we'll try them on. I think it's this. But I don't know if I would ever wear that, but then I could imagine it looking really cute with like grey joggers. I don't know if I love it actually. I'm not obsessed. We're getting rid. We're getting rid. I've got this blue blazer. I've never worn the tag is still on it, which is not a good sign, but let's just try it on and give it the benefit of the doubt. Because it is good to keep staples too. Obviously I wouldn't wear with this top, but I feel like this is a nice oversized dad blaze with like jeans and a top, right? This is PLT by the way. I'm gonna keep that one. Mm, let's hang it back on. And I'm just gonna like colour coordinate. Because I just have so many tops that I just know I wouldn't wear. I've got a navy blue blazer that I will wear. I've got this yellow set. It is nice to have a suit moment, isn't it? I've got this green trench coat. I've never really worn. I've got this from kind of the label that I never ended up wearing in autumn. But like, it's a cool coat, isn't it? For winter. Like you could, I feel like I would definitely wear this with a white top, it's just not the season. Maybe I should keep this. Even before with like chunky boots and a dress. As like a jacket dress. 
Okay, let's keep that. Because it's more wintry, shall I put it on like the outside? We also need to look over here, but for now we'll just put things on there. I've got this green suit and despite it being a moment, the likelihood of me wearing this bright green suit, I don't go anywhere unless I had an event. Like I just feel like it's too bright and it's brand new, got the tags on. I feel like someone would really appreciate this. So let's say goodbye to her. Um, I love that blazer from H&M. I've got the Primark version of the Zara jacket. And I haven't worn it once. I literally haven't worn it. And like, am I ever going to wear it? Like, I don't know if it's just too big for me. But then is it cool? Oh, a lip gloss. <laughs> that's, that's the thing about owning a lip gloss brand. You find lip glosses everywhere. Like, I feel like it is cool with like a white top. I like the oversized like, with a big hoodie and leggings. And like, it would have only been cheap. Should I just keep it? I feel like I would actually wear it. Let's hang her back off. I just need to reach for my boy. It's because the crop one is so nice. Like I'd always be like, no, let's go cropped. Okay, these I never end up wearing. So let's try these on. Let me try that on. That's Dan's. Any kind of Dan's I'm going to take out and just leave room for. Let's try these on. Let's try these on. And tie this down. Okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I feel like it's too long. Too long and like, I don't know. But it's what do you think? Can you help me? I feel like with a white top would this be nice? It's like smart. Let's try this on. I feel like a camel blazer is staple. Whereas I feel like this one might be is less. Yeah, like I don't really like this, I don't think. I don't like the buttons that aren't symmetrical. Let's get rid of her. Okay. Um, let's try this on. This is, I think I will keep this because I feel like autumn, winter, this is so cute with like, imagine like brown joggers. I love the dog too, but I feel like it instantly looks quite smart and I feel like it's a nice oversized fit. We'll keep her. Because I think if I've got everything that I just definitely want hung up, I can just move them a little bit easier, right? And I've got two black blazers and I never wear black. I just don't wear black very often, but I feel like it's good to have one staple black blazer, right? You just never know when you need a black blazer. I feel like that is a nice fit, do you agree? Just to have. Let's try on the... I don't think this one's going to beat it. This is P.O.T. as well. P.O.T. do really good, like, non-structured, just nice, oversized dad blazers. I think most of my blazers are... This is Missy Empire. I don't love how shiny this is, I feel like it gives more like work ethic, it's got a bit of a shine to it. So let's get rid of her, she's still got the tag on. I've got so many things with the tag on. And then this sheen little biker jacket, I feel like it's just shit quality. But then is it good to just chuck on with like if this was a white top? I feel like it is actually quite cute, isn't it? Like it's not actually that bad. I actually don't hate it as much as I thought I would. Let's put her back then. My nan's on my way. She's going to come round for an hour to help. So that will be nice. Okay, let's shut the drawers for a sec. And then let's go on to hoodies, coats, jackets. In here. So like this hooded trench coat. I love, 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 love. But there, I'm just not reaching for it because it's stuck in that little... I feel like I'd be better hanging long coats and things up. So I'm just going to put it over here for now. 
These baggage joggers are new, but I'm gonna try and find a better solution for the bottom. So I'm gonna keep that. Love this San Diego, Diego tracksuit. I love this design studio tracksuit still. So we'll keep that. Um, let's go back up here. I like that Hera tracksuit. This is a dress, like, why is that there? Love this Primark dress. Just haven't worn it yet. Love this trench coat, classic. That's Dan's tracksuit. I'm debating getting rid of this buccal coat because I never wore it. Like, I love it. I literally wore it twice. Like, I never reached for it as much as I wanted to. And I just feel like, why will I reach for it next year? So I'm going to take that as I, I don't want it. Also, I feel a little bit snotty, so if I sound a bit coldy, that's probably why. Because um, coats I'm not going to be wearing for a while. So let's put the coats towards the winter pile, I think. Not that we have one right now. Ooh. This is another trench coat. And I feel like trench coat is quite weathery. So I feel like I will put this to hang up here. And then we've got an oatmeal tracksuit, love. I don't wear this very much. It's so soft and it's so comfortable, but it's too big for me. So I think it would be better. It's so comfortable though. Like, I don't know whether to keep it because it's just like a huge, soft, comfy tracksuit. You know, and it's just like almost untouched. It's so, I feel like it could look cute. Let's keep it. I'll try it on before I say 100% yes. I'm not, is this mine? Oh no, it's Dan's, because I wouldn't just throw it away. I'm going to chuck Dan's stuff on the floor. Um, I've got this jumpsuit, and I feel like I would wear it. I don't know where the hell it's from. I feel like it's good to have an investment piece, like just plain black jumpsuit. I feel like you can't really go wrong, can you? And that could be folded up, it doesn't need to be hung up. I've got this which would be perfect but it's shoved there and I'm just forgetting I've got it, this country club um, short set, it's so nice from P.O.T, it's new in. This is my Hollister zip up, so I would probably, I wear this a lot to the gym, I just haven't found it, so okay, tracksuits, tracksuits are a nightmare over here. I'm not really wearing them. I, no, I am really wearing them. I don't know why I just said that, but like, I've just got too many and I know I have. Like, I need to just focus on a capsule wardrobe, like things that I'm gonna re-wear really and stuff like that. So like, for example, this blue little cardigan from Pretty Little Fit, um, Primark, I love it. Absolutely love it. This Zara, Car sorry Siri. This Zara cardigan, I feel like it's an investment piece. Like it's nice, it's mature, it's really good quality and I feel like I will get wear out of it so she can stay. And then this is from P.O.T. and I feel like I did wear this a lot last winter. Am I gonna wear it again though? It's really hard when it's not in the season. I feel like I should just vacuum pack this. I wish I could talk to you guys. Let's take it out. Again, this set for winter, I bought this, it's from Boohoo, and I never ended up wearing it because it literally looks like you're in, it looks, it's so big and bulky, but I feel like, like, will I ever wear it? I feel like I would. It's just because it's not the season. Do you reckon I should just vacuum her up? Because I'm not going to be wearing that for, what, four months? Like a good, good, good few weeks. So I think we should unhang her and take her to, take her to the vacuum bag. And then in winter, if I haven't, warn her then i'll give her a fair, ch fair chance because i've just got so much it's not fair to say yes or no so i need like a vacuum bag really pile don't i um but i feel like this looks tatty already where's it from this is from h&m but is it a staple like is it just a good knitwear piece to have like a chunky with leggings and boots because am I just going to rebuy the same thing next year? Possibly. So I think let's give that another chance to, to redeem myself. And then like dresses, I feel like these could be hooked, like these could be folded because I've got so many dresses that I just 
they're beautiful but because I don't go out very much like I will only reach for these very very sparingly so I think let me just put them there and maybe we could fold them up then we've got lots of shirts this is a set with trousers and I absolutely love this set so so nice so I'm gonna keep this and then this white shirt it's from Zara I feel like it would be really nice it's just because I'm not wearing it I feel like it should go in my more formal section of my wardrobe and then we've got I've never worn this I got it from Primark it's still got the tag in and I've just never worn it and I know it has been winter but I, am I gonna wear it now I don't think I will like it looks a bit oh, tatty let's get rid of her this is like very similar to what I just showed you but it's got matching shorts and I loved it when I tried it on so I'm gonna keep that a satin shirt from Zara do I want that I probably will wear will I wear a satin these I'm thinking holiday so should I just put them away for holiday because I can't imagine me wearing a satin shirt with like an everyday outfit whereas I could imagine I think th these need to go towards like a seasonal pile whereas like this shirt I love this I feel like I need to start wearing more things like this with like jeans and a top so I'll put this to hang up like this beautiful opoly dress when it come out they sent it me and it's stunning and it fit me nicely but i think until i'm going out somewhere or like on holiday i'm not going to wear it so she needs to go towards the vacuum bags i think like, well, oh no she's like i don't know what to do with them i now want them i'm going to put them with the seasonal stuff and then like these shirts i should be wearing these more so i'm going to keep these and put them more in my face I got this jumper from Brandy Melville and I'm just not wearing it and I'm so annoyed because I literally have wore it once it was like it wasn't cheap but I just bought it as an impulse purchase because I was excited to be in Brandy Melville and that is stuff I'm trying not to do this year like, no more impulse purchases like just be a bit more sensible this is from House of CB and again it's stunning fits really nicely on me I feel good in it and like it's so perfect if i'm going like say if we decide to go on holiday or we're going out for a really really nice meal and i require a dress i know i've got a couple of them i love this green dress from shein really pretty and i feel like these are the sort of dresses that we're wearing now so i'm going to take these out and put them there i feel like i didn't wear this as much as i wanted to um like my idea was with like cute with like green jogger like grey joggers blah 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 and i haven't but then seasonal will i just rebuy something similar in winter let's be honest and that's what i don't want to be doing because i'm like oh, i just threw it away that stands gym shot jumper we'll put that down here i didn't wear this and i don't think i will it's just like a turtleneck like i don't think turtleneck is very me anymore so i'm gonna get rid but i did love that that stands shirt this is really pretty it's from rebellious fashion it's not the best quality but it's just cute pretty easy like everyday sort of dress and then this is one from here it's just like a maxi gorgeous quality dress so i think maybe like our dresses we should put here because we have got actually a few i've got a really nice like smock dress from boohoo that i love this like white one from nasty gal and then we've got a really cute grey smock dress from Miss Guided. And I love that. I'm really getting into more of a dress girly era, which I'm really, really happy about. So actually, I think we should have a little dress corner there. I think that will be nice. Because I don't have many of them. And that's only a small section and they like tend to be a little bit longer, don't they? And I've got this gorgeous one from Boohoo, which is new. It's in my most recent Boohoo haul. I've got this from H&M that I wore to Harry Styles. Like, if I go on holiday, like, I'm literally sorted. I've got this gorgeous yellow one from Boohoo. I've got this really nice one again from Boohoo. So, if anyone wants to ask me to a, somewhere to a nice meal, I'll be there. I've got some nice dresses, you know? Cute. Okay. Dan stuff. I'm going to put Dan stuff and sort him a better little home for his stuff. So I'm just going to put them on the floor for now. Like this green tracksuit from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely love it. And I wear it a lot. So I'm going to just shove this down here. I've got no organisation, but I feel like I need to get everything out. Um, this is the blue version of the Club L one. 
and again I think I'm going to be in the same situation like I won't wear the jacket but then together with like a crop top would they look cool or am I still going to hate the shirt being open because I wore this as a dress the blue one so maybe I should keep this as a set because I'm I do like navy let's do that I got this Arizona tracksuit from Missy Empire and I do like it but I've had it a while and I'm not picking it up because I buy so many tracksuits so I think it's fair to say goodbye Arizona tracksuit and then this is a red one from H&M that I do actually still wear quite a lot just a basic slogan sort of hoodie so I'll wear that this grey one from Kaya the Label I haven't worn half as much as I wanted to so I think I'm going to say goodbye to this one even though Kaya the Label is incredible quality I'm just not wearing this tracksuit as much as I want to so someone else will love it <clears throat> that's Dan's set I didn't even know I had half of these shoes down here. That's Dan's. Dan's. Maybe Dan can have this little section that no one likes down here. This is mine. See, like, I need to start hanging up the tracksuits more together. And, like, just be more sensible. This is a cardigan. And... I don't wear it enough, I don't wear cardigans enough, like I'm like, I love the look of them and I love it when people wear them, but I just forget and I don't know why, but I, when pe when I wear it, I get so many compliments, it's still got the tagging from PRT, so maybe I should just try and make more of an effort to wear it. I've got this check check shirt from Boohoo and I'm just not reaching for it, like I like the idea of it, but I've wore it once and like, I never think, let me put my check shirt on, like I just don't enjoy the vibe, I don't think, so I need to stop like picking up too many trends and just have like what I feel comfortable in, what I like, what I'm going to wear because at the end of the day that is all that matters. So yeah, I just really want to be, I just want to be, you know, put that on but like, I know I'm going to like that. Like this tracksuit from Boohoo, I thought I would love it, I didn't really love it, it was rubbish quality and she can go, she needs to go, get out of here. That's Dan's, Dan's, Dan's. Again, this tracksuit is more of like a dog walking tracksuit. And it sounds silly, but when I'm, I got a lot of dog walks and I don't like to get my nicest tracksuits ruined. And this is a cute winter one, I suppose. So maybe we should keep her. This, again, these are one of my favourite things. Grey Boohoo Embroidered Sport. Gorge. I've got the matching jogger and t-shirt to this. Love. Um, that stands. Let's get her out and that's Daniel's and then again this tracksuit is so cute it's just huge for me like I don't know if I would ever wear it out out but again it's a good dog track dog walking tracksuit so maybe I should just keep it okay we're making progress we've got a lot of clothes out though let's look at this top one because there's no way I wear half of these my slipper's stuck okay. I love this for the gym but it's just like not the best fit Look, it isn't the best quality. Should I just get rid? I shouldn't be keeping things just because it's... Like, if it's not the best quality. Same with this Boohoo jumper. I just... I used to wear it a lot and now I'm just over it and it looks a bit grubby, so she needs to go. This tracksuit has had its day from Boohoo. Like, I've worn this to the death. She looks absolutely tired and sad, bless her. So she can go, I'm gagging for my Red Bull over there. I really needed it to power on. Okay, this is from Hera and it's actually really cute. It's a hoodie but with a zip. Like I, I feel like it's a different kind of hoodie. So I think we'll keep her. Sisters and Souls has got to stay, obviously. What are these three? I love this to bits but I'm not wearing it. I never pick it. So I think someone else would really enjoy wearing it. Same with my goose and gander, like I only wear it when I've got like nothing else to wear. So I think I should just get rid of it. And but they're really good quality. I love the brands, love goose and gander, and I love happy hearts the label, but I just haven't worn this. But I've never really tried this one on. Hang on. Happy Hearts the label, I've got a grey t-shirt. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you will know I'm obsessed with it. Love the brand, small business, cares a lot about the quality, things like that. And it's nothing against, please don't think I'm I would tell you if I didn't like the brand that I'm throwing. Is this cute? Oh, it 
is cute, isn't it? But would I wear it? What would I wear it with? It's when things aren't matching I struggle, because like, I love it. I suppose I could wear it with black, black leggings. It's comfy to wear with black leggings. Yeah, let's do that. And I feel like that would be good for the gym with black leggings too. And in the winter when I'm going on my runs, it will be nice. Where did I put the hanger? My nan's going to have a heart attack when she comes in. <laughs> I haven't unlocked the door actually. This is a little tracksuit from Boohoo will keep. I bought this from Bershka and I do love it but I haven't picked it up since I've worn it and I feel like that's a bad sign. Let me check my phone since my nan's on the way. Okay. We're back. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> this wardrobe essentials tracksuit. It went a funny colour in the wash. And now I think I'm over it. So I'm going to get rid of her. I loved it. But it went a funny colour. This. No, what am I doing? From Style Hub. Love. But I'm not wearing it. And it just isn't worth it. Dan's Drew hoodie, I don't think he'd want me to throw that, to put that down there. My Adenola hoodie, again, something I don't reach for very often, but I really should <laughs> start to. I don't, I think these are the Boohoo joggers I don't like. Yep, yeah, I don't like the ones with the seam in, they can go. My Design Studio hoodie, love. What's this? I'm sure I've got a matching tracksuit to this. This is POT and I wear the joggers quite a lot so we can keep that. I've got matching shorts for this and it's really really cute so we can keep that. That stands. Um, I don't know whether this has had its day. I loved it. I do love it though. I do wear it a lot but it's just got a lot of stains on it. Like, am I realistically going to wear it with the stains on? I don't know if I will. But then I do have... Uh, I don't know what to do. The jug is stained. They've just got like oil on, I think. I do love it though and it's such a different colour tracksuit so maybe I'll ask my nan if she can get the stains out for me. This is Dan's Design Studio tracksuit. Again, I loved this in winter but I'm just not reaching for it because it was so big on me. I feel like it's too big and because I'm in between like a medium and large and boohoo tracksuit like some large ones are massive on me. I've never bought a medium but I can imagine some mediums would fit perfectly. This Glamify set, I love again, but I think I've had it, I've done that, I've been there, I've had it over a year and I'm just not wearing it. So let's get rid of it. And I understand this is a lot of clothes, but my job is clothes, so I hope you understand that. Like a lot of my, my all my job revolves around like clothes and things like that and I am lucky to get gifted things. I'm lucky, like I buy a lot of clothes myself and this is just what happens. I love this, but I just won't wear it. I didn't wear it, it was too big for me. And, well, yeah, let's go. Let's get rid of her. Because the wide legs was just too fucking big. I got a red tracksuit. I haven't really worn it, but I feel like it's a moment. And at Christmas, I'm if to wear a couple times a year, I feel like I should just keep it. Um, that's Daniel's. The, again, another thing. I, I bought this. It's pretty much. Has it got tag on still? No, but I've worn this once and I just didn't like the colour on me. And I'm so happy because I nearly bought the Sisters and Seekers Holy Hoodie and this is exactly the same colour. So this can go to somebody who bloody loves it. This black hoodie. I don't really wear the colour black if I'm being honest. So she can just go. My U Glow hoodie that one of you angels personalised for me and I will treasure it forever and I wear it all the time so I love that to death. Again, this black zip up. 
I feel like it's good for the jimba. My nan's here. Like I'm just not wearing a black zip up, you know. Let's get rid of that. And I'll wear that. So we've got out a lot. Now it's just this, but it's getting there. I don't know if she's faffing around in the car. And now this is a bad one. I'll move your angle so you can see. But I'm going to... I don't know whether I want to keep... I think I need to keep that as tops because it's like the shortest rail. Whereas this is good for like sweatshirts, dresses, jackets. But we're going to get rid of a lot of tops because I don't need a lot of them. And a lot of things can be folded. So let's maybe move these here. I don't know what to do about this tracksuit. I don't have a brown tracksuit, so should I just keep it? Oh, I can't. I've got a feeling it was massive. But the jacket we need to hang up. Um, jacket we need to put up here. I hope my peg doesn't break now. And then uh, the joggers are. I've just seen the joggers for these, this here tracksuit, so I'll put that there a second. Maybe we should hang some dresses up here, just so we've got a little bit of space. Blue. Yellow. White. Hello. Hello. You're right. Abby's <laughs> calling my canera. This is all I don't want. Disgusting. What? A lot. Why? I've pulled Why everything out. Why have you got so many clothes? What are you doing with them? They don't look that many when I come. Where have you had these from, Evan? <laughs> from the wardrobe. They didn't look that many like that. The promise there is. Right. You're selling these or taking them down then getting some money from the back. What's that? I think I'm gonna evaluate and like be like, see what's worth selling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, look like that's, in that's worth selling by the look of it. Yeah, it's brand new. No, I never worn. Love yourself. I think I've had everything I've ever done. Love <laughs> yourself. Hey Tom, I love myself. Could Absolutely. you imagine me going to Anders in this? Love yourself, Anne. <laughs> ah, love yourself. Remember. I, I don't think. That's... <laughs> Mom, she's it. lost it. Yeah. I've worn me down. Yeah, you can yeah. sell that anyway. So, do you want me to put them on cow tangers? What are you going to sell? No, no, we haven't got enough. Oh. <laughs> but um, well, what I've done is, I've been trying to filter it out, yeah. you know. So this all needs hanging up, I think. Well, not hanging up, but just on keeping. But I'm going to put Dan's stuff at the bottom there, look. Yeah. You can have that rail, more, most of it. I'm going to put my jumpers and hoodies here, and then dresses in this yeah, one. Yeah, well, you put whatever you want to put, you know where they're going. So I won't put them together. Well, then, like, there. you know, like the winter stuff that I don't want now, but nice, I will. It's a nice little dress. I thought it was a blow. It's lovely. It's nice. It's got a little tight for your rainy waist. Lovely. Pretty, isn't it? Um, yeah. Shall I put in a vacuum bag, like a summer bag? Because I'm not going to wear them, but I will in December. There's not enough room enough room. Like, I'll do a change. Well, let me, let me. Oh, you, oh, you've got to come off the car tanks and file them properly. No, they're here. This is the stuff I mean, like the winter stuff. Oh, the winter stuff. Yeah, because oh, I'll yeah. wear these okay. at the moment, won't I? Yeah, okay. So if I, I'm just going to put them in the places and you can help me organise them. What are these now here? Uh, well, that's got a stain on I was wondering if you'd get it out. Which this one? The grey, yeah, it's got like a bit of a stain on the front. I'll keep them together, right? Okay. I'll have to take them back because I can't. This is brand new, this is. I know. No, it's exactly, it's new, I've had tons to wear. it's beautiful, isn't it? That's a good job I'm getting older than me, because if I'd have been in my 50s, you'd have had the lot up gone. <laughs> when you do say, wear what you want, no. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's not like it, then. 
And then I'll, I'll properly yeah. colour coordinate it, but I'm just trying yeah. to get things off the floor. I should have brought more stuff that you can... What? Spray and pull. Crease, the crease really? Yes. So my shirts and things, I'm going to hang up. And then I'll colour coordinate them in a minute, it's just getting them hung up. Do you want this folded or... No, I like them on hangers because I wear fold. them so okay. much. Have you got a top to match this, have you? Yeah, Where it's up it? here. One Pass sec. it me then, I can put on here. Keep all your sets together. One there it is, the jumper to it, the bottoms. Two. The beige bottoms. But don't take that off there. Okay, well, should we hoop them for Where's it? Where's the beige bottoms now? I don't know, yeah. you were taking control. Yeah. This one. Sacrifice a hanger, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hang on. I'm folding these up again. Brand new these again. I know. You need to put everything together. What's like? What's this? Yeah. Whatever's this is. Don't put a dress by them at all. No, I'm putting just hoodies in there and jumpers and tracksuits. And you want to really put the ones that you've got the tracksuit and everything too. Yeah, put them Se together like separates that. Separates down. Put with the mayor. Okay. Wear anything so low cut now, I'm a bit older, I don't think, would I? I don't know, no, I don't like to seem too low cut. I feel like when I was younger, I'd wear this, wouldn't I? But not now. Oh, now it's a bit low, I mean. It makes your tits look brilliant, though. Is it? Pop it. I This is the current situation, guys. Guys, um, we've emptied out everything we don't want, and then the floor is non-existent. What do you think about this? She says it's ridiculous, don't you? <laughs> Stan's work trousers. They probably need washing. Let's be honest. What should I do? Come we'll put them in the wash. You just chuck them on the floor. Should I take these out? You, you're liable to put them in. <laughs> So I'm going to go and get your other battery, guys, and then uh, we'll carry on. But this is the situation. We're literally covered in clothes. <laughs> Daniel. Hey, she's my girl. Now, just two minutes to do this. And when you, you know you took your cows off at night. Yes, hang them on. Come on, Annie. Everything's got to be ironed. It's a trouble. It's the trouble. What's this? That's his gym top that we're going to fold. It's in the bill, I will. On the bottom of the bill. <laughs> P.S. Yeah, all this can be tied and folded. I'm trying to see if it gets some like that. Okay, guys, the current <laughs> situation is we've almost got everything off the floor, and now it's about. Putting it into piles, we haven't done any of the drawers. Nanny's just starting Dan's drawer, and we are slowly getting somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Tell Daniel, I love him. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> the best. Um. So yeah. So and then I'm gonna go in once everything's hung up and like organise it from like short to long, from colours, blah blah blah. But for now. Pardon? And his work, things I'm putting together. Okay. For his work, I'll keep those separate. But we've chucked a lot away. The pile is looking huge. Let me show you an update. So that is all we're getting rid of. These are all the free coat hangers currently in the state of the floor. This is all to hang up. That's PR. And Nanny's just doing Daz, Daz Dan's draw. Um, and yeah, so I'll let you know when I start rearranging. We're just going to get everything off the floor. Yeah. 
Jesus. I believe that all of your dreams are directions. You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience. You took my heart, I'm a sleep, a decoration. You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had. Something that you never seen. Something that you never been. Mm-hmm. But I wake up and I nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. Okay guys, I've pretty much done the tops. I feel like they look pretty good. I just asked my nan to look, but she said, do you think I'm elastic? So, <laughs> I didn't know if you could just bend your little head round. Absolutely not, I was told. Beautiful. And when you wear them, they <coughs> put them back on the coat hanger at the end of the night that you've took them off. Thank you. Okay. Wise words from a, a wise woman. Put them back. She tells me this every week, but I just struggle and to remember. Of course, I've got a real cough coming on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. What? I wouldn't wear that when I was 17. It's actually really nice on. Is it? Oh, look. Don't you like it? Why? Well, it's just me. That's a nice dress. That's a nice little dress, Maya. Thank you. It's nice on. Yeah, it's nice. What's in there, look? Oh, oh no, I broke a hanger. Uh, dry tissue. <coughs> Hello. My nan has gone and Dan is home. I'm just waiting to see when the boys are ready. They've been on since nine, but it's been good because I've got stuff done. So I've organised nearly all my trousers. I've just got a couple more to do. And then I'm done. I can't believe how much I have got ready for like, I feel like I did a wardrobe declutter not long ago. I definitely didn't. Dan? Oh, nothing. Um, so yeah, so I'm just shocked at how much stuff I have. I just, you know, you're at that point where you just think, I wish I'd never started. That is how I feel right now. I should have buttoned these up before I did that. <coughs> that noise is horrible. But the trousers are looking pretty good. I need to do the shoes and things like that, but I'm just working my way around. That's all to go. All of that? Yeah. Fuck me. I know. I don't think we'd be able to take it all in one hit. What? The charity. Fucking no. hell. She, she's been waiting there and a half for us. She texted my old number. Oh. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Bloody hell. I just had a horrible feeling just. But look what she's done to you two drawers. Oh, I know, sake. and you'll be, you're going to be so happy. I'll give you that whole row. Yeah. That's all your clothes. Why? Because you managed to condense it so much. Well, no, I haven't, but I just needed, I wanted to give you a dedicated space. Well, you've got a whole row now. What? A dedicated space? What's wrong with you? Nothing. See how much I'm going to be worth and my pension's on <laughs> Yeah, now I know how fat your bank account is. Um, but yeah, so now you've got a big space for all your stuff. And the only thing that's in there is a couple of my oversized t-shirts. Thank you. I'm gonna go and get my boys, one sec. Okay, I'm back. Had a little snack, picked the dogs up, and we're ready to go again. So, I think I'm going to... I don't know where to go next. I think I'm gonna colour arrange these. I think that's the best bit. And then we can sort out the underwear drawer. And then maybe see where we are. Let's put the dresses in order because that's like an easy 
job. Okay, dresses are colour order. Let's do jackets. Let's go. Blue. That shouldn't be in there. Black at the end. Yellow could be moved forward to be after the nude. like that is a good vibe. Danny's doing the boiler so if it's noisy I'm sorry but I feel like they look pretty good. Let's put this, let's do the hoodies. Gosh, they're so annoying. No! Hello sir, you can watch the grey. That looks better. Let's start on the floor. Okay, my next plan is to take out my nan's done Dan's drawers, so I'm going to do the top one and I'm just going to sort out all the underwear because it's ridiculous like the socks, things like that. So I feel like if I do that and then move on to these drawers, and then we can see what we have left because a lot of it is like gym stuff that needs to go in there. I need to pull a load of like leggings and stuff that I don't use. So I've got these like little dividers in our underwear that we don't really use, but I'm going to keep in there. So I'm just going to kind of pull all the underwear out because there's so much rubbish in here and just see what we're actually going to use, not use, and then try and separate it a little bit into like Dan's boxers, Dan's socks, or socks we're not going to use, blah, 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 because... I won't wear any really other colour socks than white, whereas Dan will. So maybe we'll split it up a little bit. So I'm going to get that, group all the underwear and put it all together. So I'm going to put a YouTube video on because I'm getting bored. We're moving on to the dreaded drawers. Bags, I think I'm gonna do last, just because I'm just gonna shove them in there and say bye bye for a sec. I think the leggings one needs to be sorted out the most because I'm realistically not wearing a lot of ribbed leggings anymore. Like I just don't enjoy it. Like these kind of the labour ones, they're really good, just never really want them, so they can go. I've got a matching top to these shorts so they can stay these my protein leggings are just a bit big for me but they're fine if i don't run in them i wear these gym shorts i absolutely hate these leggings i've got two pairs of the same gym shark shorts let's get rid of one these are new these is this the free train leggings yep and they have i mean a couple of pairs of them ripped they feel such nice quality but I, it had like a ladder all in 
They're good for just like an easy pair of leggings. So I'm going to keep those. Sheen gym shorts. Amazon gym shorts. I'm not going to wear these blue cycling shorts. These are like jumpsuits, so I don't know whether to hang these up with the dresses just so I'm seeing them or do I just fold them these are like Primark little gym shorts these brown leggings I'm not going to wear these are jumpsuits these are leggings what are they? they're gym leggings we can wear those we can wear those wear those I wear these I don't know whether I'll wear these free trend shorts like I don't know if I love the colour I think I have a matching top though let's just see oh they've completely faded but I feel like they'd be fine on their own right These are Missy Empire sh sh what? cycling shorts and I actually really like these and I've got the matching top. So this would be a nice little set. So let's keep this and roll them up. I don't know, la. Keep these. These are Zara. Take me back to Georgia, back to Atlanta. Honey, how present turn back. I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better. Don't mess my eyes by that ass. The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me. Nigga can't know but to touch. Probably could have done better folding but this is the best of my ability. I've kind of tried to colour code leggings, jogger shorts, jumpsuits and just stuff like that. So that is this drawer. I'm happy with it. It's not going to get any better than that. And then this one at the moment is like a bit of shit sports bras hats and like a lot of this can just go because like not go in the bin obviously but just go in vacuum bags um so let's sort this one i've got a little bit of work to do so i'm going to take a little two minute break and send some amends over to manager and then i'll be back and we'll do this i just had to do a bit of work so i've just pulled most things out of this drawer i don't know whether to have this as like shared bags i don't know what to do with it to be honest with you so I'm just going to pull everything out and just see what's in here. Because we don't look at like half of the things in here. Like there's, why is there fanny deodorant from probably 2010 in here? It's not from 2010, don't worry. Like an old, oh, I love these smell. This one. Smells like alien. Okay, that vagina deodorant needs to go. These are painting clothes just in case I ever needed them. Like honestly, there's so much crap in here. Is that external case? Is it a hard drive? I don't know. I'll put it in my little technology drawer that I've got. Okay, because that winter stuff like this. Fun fact: I've wore this headband for years, and I always bought a little one just in case I ever had it. Like they came as a two, and like in case I had a little girl. Imagine the matching. I mean, obviously, I don't know if I'm gonna have a little girl, but I've always just kept them together. Um, okay, so the winter stuff I think I'm going to put away, so let's chuck that up here, because I just feel like I could do better things with my space, and the same with like my bikinis, I don't wear, obviously wear them a lot, so this is, we're definitely going to be doing more painting, so I'm going to put this top in here, and like my scarves and things, I can just grab them out in winter then, can't I? Caps I use that away look at Rolo's ever first ever jumper <laughs> my heart I can put that in with my clothes and that and that so this is all like winter stuff swimming costumes I use for when I go swimming at the gym so I keep them out I feel like this will be good for like caps and things 
Um, that's gym tops, gym tops, gym tops, gym tops, caps. Like, I don't even know what this is. We might be able to clean my makeup brushes actually. There's a belt in here, do you want it? I mean, you've never worn it. Okay. I'm going to keep this phone case. I just need to get the magnet off. It's like a little one of me and Dan. So I can put that in the little thingy. Maybe I'll give you one of you guys this case to fly case because it's so nice it just doesn't fit my phone. So this is the stuff we want to put away. Um, like a woolly hat. I just don't need that right now, do I? In my stuff. And then in here, let's get these down. That was my phone. Because I'd like to maybe use this for shoes. So have a look in these boxes I literally never look in these there's like a skim sarong that I got sent so that can go in the summer box this is like a pajama top this is a cap 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 skim swimsuit my key sunglasses I've been looking for these I've got a couple pair of sunglasses that we can use and then there's some links deodorant that's empty there's oh, an Apple Watch charger and a phone charger and some earrings. So we can use those. That can go in the bin. In here was a hot water bottle which I can put somewhere else. Some hats. I think hats can go in here. In here. So I think we should put our hats in one of the boxes. So these are like bucket hats. I've got my little Prada one from Inspired Edition. I love this one. Um, I've got another little pink bucket hat from Boohoo or Primark, from ASOS None. Um, and then I think the rest are caps. So, I think maybe I'll just put like from most worn to not. To be honest, I don't love this one. I'm going to get rid of that one. It's got, it's really big on my head. I don't know if I'll wear this green one either. Like, will it be good for winter? I don't know if I'll ever reach for this. Let's get rid. Dan? Yeah. Do you want your D-squared cat? What the black one. What like? What's the black cat? Oh, one. Yeah. Oh, just have a look later. I've got Dan's cat there so i wear my adenola one a lot i've never even tried this on to be honest but i'm not reaching for it so i'd rather just someone have it this just needs a lint roller to it so maybe we'll just do color order gray um green this is from primark it's so nice nude nude and then white. Let's put our caps in there. I don't know what I'm going to put in them, but at least it's spare. Oh, I've got this blue one as well from Opoly, and I thought this would be so cute for Holly Bobs. Let's put this at the bottom because I'm not likely to wear this that much. Okay, caps are in there. And then swimsuit. So I've got this Skims one. So we'll put this here. I don't really know how to fold swimsuits, I'm just going to put it, I've only got like three swimsuits. I've got this purple one, I forgot I had this to be honest, I can wear this for swimming at the gym because I've just been wearing the same black one the whole time. I've worn this, the misguided swimsuit for honestly years, I've got hair stuck in my mouth. Do we go on to sports bras? Because I don't really know what else I'll put in there at the moment. I don't really wear this but I feel like it, it's like just nice as a supportive, more of like a little like crop top. <laughs> so maybe I'll put this instead of in there, like maybe in a little like box, if that's a good idea. I don't know. And like my 
I don't know, a sports bra, like you can wear this as a top, not just as a sports bra. So maybe I'll put the more ones like that together and then the ones you could only wear at the gym together. So like this, obviously a little Primark top, it's not worth hanging up, but it, you can use it as a top. I wouldn't use it as a sports bra, but there's free. Um, so like there's a little top in here. I know I don't like that one, so let's throw her away. I don't think I'll wear this pink soda one. Like, it grieves me to throw away sports bras though, because like, what if one day I just really want a pink sports bra, you know? Maybe I should just keep her. Let's put her there. Pink. Again, like this you could wear as a top or a sports bra, so maybe I'll put this in the little box. Two. This is a gym top. Because I thought, I don't really want to hang all these gym tops up, because they're just so ugly and annoying to like hang up. This is one of one of the ones from the Whitney Simmons range. This is a grey, like a sports top. So maybe I should put that with the stuff from well like the sports bra slash gym tops. Because I could wear that out if I wanted to. This is a little vest from Free Train. Oh, I was confused where that box was. There's its home. To be honest, my boobs, I love this, but my tits just pop out of the side, so I think we should just get rid. I've got this, like, Fabletics one, but it's, again, like, a very top, like, it makes the boobs look really nice. So, maybe I'll put that with this pink one, though, just so it's got a friend. And then this is, like, a crop top. So like, this is drawers that I've just been avoiding going through. This is a little Skims top. I've had it for a couple of years, but it's so comfortable. The material's insane. So I'm going to keep that and keep it for in the little like crop top bit because it's tight enough to wear as a sports bra. Same with this. This is like a little Zara top. I've got matching leggings to it, but it's just not worth like putting anywhere as a top. And then I'll be Mr. Cap. New York. Oh, here's the swimsuit. Oh, this is a black skins one. I hope this is a sign for you guys to clean out your wardrobe if you've been thinking about it. Sports bra. Not sports bra, swimsuit. And then I've got another one. This is just a little primate one. Jodie bought me this actually when I was, I can't remember where I was going. But I asked her when she was a, a, like in Birmingham to pick me up a swimsuit. Um, and then we've got this My Protein one. This is like a good supportive one and I've got matching leggings so we'll keep this one. I like this pink soda sport one because it's really different. I haven't worn it yet. So let's... I'm not going to be able to get that off. Let's just get it off when I wear it. So I will definitely wear that one. I think it's really cute. And then this is a Primark one. Again, you could wear it as a top, so I think I'll put it in the other little basket. Primark have some really nice gym wear. This is a really nice one from Whitney Simmons and Gymshock. I don't even know if you can still get that anymore. But it's the comfiest and the most slinkiest range. Like I'm not I love Gymshock, but I don't I'm not very clued up on um their range is to tell you what it was i just know it was the whitney simmons one same with the blue one like it's just such nice buttery soft supportive fabric we've got this is one of my most worn sports bras i've worn it to death like it's not even the right color anymore it's like gray but it's like a, one of their titty bras it's so supportive it makes the boobs look like double d's like oh, it's a dream such a nice sports bra so we've definitely reduced our collection, which is good. I don't know if Dan wants these bear grips for the gym, so I'm just going to tell him to leave them in the car and get them out of my way. This is another BBL jacket. Did I keep the leggings? Yeah. I might put other stuff in there, not sure, but that is the vibe of this drawer. Let's grab out all the bags, see what we want and don't want. <laughs> So, the more 
like wintery bags, the ones like I definitely wouldn't wear in summer. Oh, we've got some change in here. This is my old purse. Um, I think I'm going to put my purse just in here. And then like this is obviously a very wintry bag, like I wouldn't wear this unless it was winter. So I think we'll put that to one side. Like this would I would only wear when I was on holiday, so maybe let's just put this in the tote bag because I'm never going to wear that here. Like this beach bag, again, I feel like I would never wear unless I was on holiday. But this bags I want to keep, so let's put them together in here. Um... Like this weekend bag here. Let's maybe put it in the other weekend bag. So we'll put weekend here, summer. Summer there. And then maybe the winter one we'll put under the inside the weekend bag. Just because it's not bags we're going to be reaching for. And then my designer bags, maybe I'll like put them on top with some shoes. Maybe the ones that are going to stand up. Like this Prada one doesn't stand up. I really like this one because it's like, it. I don't know, but I'm just not using it. So I feel like someone would really appreciate this bag. It's really cute, but I'm just not using it. So I'm going to give that one away. I did buy this because I thought it would be really cool, like a little trench bag, but I haven't worn it, so I think I just need to say goodbye to it. I'm not reaching for it. Like my two little Pradas, they can go here. Just because I'm probably, I do reach for them, but they're not. Like, look at this, this is like just pure winter, aka Christmas and stuff. So we'll put that in there. Like this basic black bag. I will use but I'm not going to like display it same with this grey a green Primark one let's put that there too um this white like YSL-esque hobo bag from Boohoo just a plain little bag um this won't stand off this Dior saddle so we can put her in here this little summery bag, she's really cute but she can just go at the back because we only reach for her very rarely. Same with like this little blue denim one, they're just basic bags. I use this one a lot, a lot, this denim one from HOT. So I'm just going to put that near the front. This Jacquemus one will stand up. Same with my other Jacquemus. The Chanel bag, she's a bit of a pain to stand up so I'm going to put it here. My little Louie, would she stand? I don't know, maybe we'll put her in here. Let's sort that strap out. And then my white, just this is from, I think this is from the Accessorised Queen too. Another like, bag I do reach for a lot, just a plain one. Louie will stand up. My white Chanel is somewhere and she stands up. So that's pretty much all bags. This is my loop bag holder, so I'll put this one in here. My coach bag is somewhere and that will stand up. So them four can maybe stand up. At least they're organised. Okay. I'm at a loss what to do next because it still looks like such a mess. Let me think of a plan. Okay, I'm just cleaning... The top of this i just dusted it and i'm just going to give it a clean and i think i'm going to put bags and some shoes i feel like that is the best storage for it right now i don't know i could put like build it up and add another drawer to be fair but i don't know if i need i don't know what to do Wardrobes just don't get cleaned enough, do they? Because who the friggin' hell wants to mess with them? So, I'm thinking... Let me just go over again with the duster. 
Little side note, these smell so good for cleaning. They're called Pomelo Paradise. So let's display some bags. Coachy. Let's take my claw clip off. Chanel. She can go maybe like washy rest. Maybe she can go at the back. And then my jagamus. Has it got anything in it before I? My jagamus. I don't know the best way. Actually, should I not show them off? Should I just put them here? And then Lulu in front, maybe? Or do I put them height order? Maybe like my Louis slides. So maybe like my new balance behind there. And then I could get maybe just like my most worn trainers, like my Axla Regato dupes. And then maybe I've got some like bright orange, like Yeezy slides. Maybe we should put them there just to add a bit of the vibes. I feel like that looks quite cute. And then I'll put one more at the back. Now, there's some like me. Oh, actually, I could put more shoes here, couldn't I? Duh. Where did I put the duster? There it is. And then maybe my Crocs, my two pairs of Crocs could go there. Not the most aesthetic, but at least there's a bit of a space for them. My two pairs of Crocs, I've got a nude pair. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then I suppose I could put some shoes in here that don't fit, couldn't I? Like, you know, like the really ugly ones, but they're like these Crocs sandals are the most comfiest things ever, but they're so ugly. And I suppose I could just put them here, right? Or not, is that? I don't know. Mm, I don't know if that's cool actually <laughs> I don't know if that's a good vibe okay let's pick all the coat hangers up because I feel like that will make a good amount of room one sec how yeah, cute Rella looks after his haircut you good boy you look so cute hello you good boy Rollo <laughs> come on then so oh, update the floor is getting clearer. I've put loads of hangers up there, loads of hangers here, some are here, and then I'm just going to work on clearing the floor space and sorting the shoes. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to pull all the shoes out, I'm going to dust and like clean all the shit onto the floor. And yeah, we actually are getting somewhere. It's looking so much tidier. What do you think? Dan also want me a Dr Pepper back because Dr Pepper is life. So let's do that. One second, let me get, get myself sorted and I'll show you. Okay, I've just dusted and cleaned the bottom of the wardrobe and I'm going to put my shoes back in. So, they're Dan's. So my like Ugg Tasman's, because I'm not really wearing them right now, I'm going to put them at the back. My flip flops, I'm wearing a lot. So I'm going to put them like directly behind them because I'm grabbing them a lot recently. Um, like my TikTok shop. Oh, because they're literally still in perfect condition. I'm just going to put them straight to the back. I really am not like a massive shoe person. So like I don't have loads and loads of shoes. I've got the TikTok shop. Chestnut Uggs, they can go straight at the back. So I'm just going to kind of like put my trousers over them. And then... My other grey Tasmans can go at the back. And then, I don't know if this is my slider or Dan's. That's one of, these are mine. See, like mine are nice and like clean. So I'm gonna put them behind them orange ones. I feel like that's a cool thing to do and it's just easy storage 
And then I've got my little Birkenstock dupes from Boohoo. I don't reach for these loads, being honest. My white sandals, I reach for these a lot. I don't know where the other one is though. They need to clean it. Maybe we'll clean them with the anti back white. These slippers are fine. Maybe I'll put my slippers in the drawer with my sports bras. And then they're out of the way. And then I've only got these little PFT sliders, so I'm going to slip these at the back next to the Tasmans because you literally can't see them. And then I've got my Converse. These are just black. Converse. They're not actually Converse, they're Boohoo Converse. I feel like I'm missing a couple pairs of trainers, but we can sort that. There you go, you're just in your fur. Young mum, sorry babes. He's a bit. Good boy, yeah. Um, these slippers are going in the bin because they're literally filthy. And they're damn shoes, I'm literally just going to do the same, so I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, update. We actually are getting somewhere. I still haven't done the end, but most of the clothes are in... They're tidy, the wardrobes are clean, and I think they look pretty organised. My desk looks horrendous, and this is tomorrow's job. Same with here. It looks really bad. I need to sort these hangers out. I'm going to hoover before I go to bed, just because there's so much dust on the floor. And with the dog, dogs, like, I don't want them. I don't know. I just get worried when there's stuff on the floor. Um, this is, like, my Uglo area, so, like, that is out of bounds and this is where shelves were if you don't follow me on the weekly vlogs um there used to be shelves here which we took down and changed the whole room around so we've got progress the floor is clear so i'm going to clear these hoover the floor uh put these period pants away also quick recommendation these are the best period pants they're from a brand called oni o-h-n-e they're so soft they're like bamboo material and it's like a built-in pad and you literally just um it's got, there we go it's got um a built-in pad and you literally just wash them every time you wear them and they're incredible so I highly recommend for a period pad but yeah right here's the progress it's looking so much better I'm signing off for tonight I'm shattered and it is seven o'clock and we're back honestly this has been such a workout I've done 16,000 steps I'd done about six before I started because I went on a run so honestly declutter to your room I am going to sign off tonight I'm shattered we haven't oh sorry Ro <laughs> sorry darling we haven't eaten we're so hungry and because we've got no boiler, we're going to have to go to my nan's for a shower. So it's going to be a long night and then we'll come back and finish this room tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow. Say bye. Love you. It is the next day. It is half past nine and I've spent the morning editing yesterday's um, wardrobe bit. So it's just not so much bulk. So if I do finish it in good time, I might have a chance of getting it up tonight. If not, it's going to be up Friday. But I just want to pick myself up a vanilla latte because I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I just feel a little bit rough. I don't feel 100%. So I thought let's try and perk myself up a little because I just don't 
feel great but we're going to rip everything out of these makeup drawers we're going to clean all the drawers out we're going to have a nectarine because I haven't had any breakfast yet and I'm a bit peckish nectarine just so good but why do I have to go everywhere so we're going to do it are you ready? We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, yeah! This is a before. It looks so bad, no. It's so bad. So we're gonna get this shit done. But this looks so much better, yay! Okay, the lighting is not the best. I was trying to sort it out, but this is just the best angle I can get because the window is like here, so. I think I'm going to just take everything off the whole desk, take everything off the drawers and do we just put it on the like floor? Does that sound like a good idea? And just get everything out and start off with like a clean slate. And I've also got this. Um, I've bought, oh it's under here, this as well for some of my products, so we can open that as well. Um, do we just get everything off the desk or do I put everything into the drawers and then work that way? I think that will be best, won't it? And I'm just going to clean inside the drawer. I do have some more like containers that I can use if I need to, to like, maybe I should empty these. I'm gonna empty it into here just in case anything goes on my carpet. Like that is the best I'm gonna get because they're like not the newest containers. I feel like they look a little bit rubbish. It's annoying when like they don't fit in the drawers. I need to maybe get ones that fit in the drawer a bit better. Okay, I'm thinking of putting like skincare because I do have some in here as well. But I don't want I don't want me to see. Hello, is that a little bit better for you? I don't want this to go watery. Because things like skincare, I don't know whether to put on my new little thing. My new storage box. Should we take a look at it, see what it's saying? Why do you have to build things? <laughs> step one, and then step two is this one. Oh, is it upside down? Oh, that makes sense. Ah, I'm so stupid. There we go. I feel like this could look cute with like colourful products on. Anyway. Okay, I actually think that's quite cute. And I like that it spins. So I was thinking we could put like my like face mist. It's like cute little skincare bits on there. So 
let's put like face products in one so for example like my collection is a um i don't have many primers i need to get some more it's like spf and stuff i'm thinking of putting on my little tray like all the prep stuff like actual skincare and then it's away from the makeup okay maybelline glow my new little i've got these korean skincare things that i was sent and it's like cc water gel it's by the brand of boring and it looks insane it looks a bit like dr jart so i'm gonna put these in too so that's all like prep, prep stuff like stuff i'd put on like maybe my l'oreal tinted plumping serum or put at the bottom but this collection is pretty much gone so let's throw that on the floor this SPF, with, this is a bit of an empties. I'm pretty much at the end of this, but really, really like this CeraVe. Um, um, this has just got water in for my hair stuff, but I really liked the Barry M Fresh Face, but I don't prefer it to Mac Fix Plus at all. Um, that's fake tanning, so that can go down there. This is face fake tan. Oh, drunk elephant. How can I forget my baby? I need to get that in there right now. My, I've got two drunk elephants because they're literally everything to me. I love drunk elephant and big stand of drunk elephant because there's still like a little bit left. So my two drunk elephants can go together. That's preparation, but I wouldn't say it was skincare. The Nars tinted moisturizer, my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm literally out of, but I'm gonna hold on until I buy a new one. So I feel like this needs a little rearranging. Okay, I'll go ahead and chuck a few more things in because I don't want to bore you guys. So, be obby. Okay, out of the concealers, I don't really rate this Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. Lovely colour. If you're a similar colour to me, this is warm beige. But I just don't, I didn't enjoy it. And I hate to say it. Love Maybelline Fit Me. Love Cosas Concealer. Love L'Oreal Infallible for the spots. And I don't rate NARS radiant creamy concealer but i think people who don't have much to cover prefer it that's just my opinion um it's an okay concealer but like i wouldn't pay 24 pound or whatever it is for it over and over again that's just me being honest so we want these concealers let's put them out of the way is there anything else that got this is the dupe of the charlotte tilbury this is the ps pro cream blush from primark and actually really enjoy that love the refined gloss highlighter i'm almost out but i do think there are other things that are just as good but i like the consistency of this like it never looks powdery like glittery chunky it just sinks into the skin like a bomb i feel like too faced better than sex is just a little bit too clumpy for me but i keep it because i don't know i don't like to throw it <laughs> i do use it sometimes if my lashes need a bit summing but my all-time favorite i've just bought a new one this is the, this is the new one isn't it i've got this is shows how much i love collection lash shirt this is the new one i think yeah i've got three here love collection lash shirt really really good mascara of progress so top drawer we've got setting sprays here like stuff for your face like cc creams um just like bases here's like before makeup and my brow products i literally do not have a lot of makeup at all and then in here we've got cream blushes cream highlighters cream bronzers mascara and concealers lip liners lip glosses and then we've got my powder products so bronzer powder blusher powder blusher powder couple of eyeshadows beauty blender all my brushes are there i don't have a wear a lot of eyeshadow so i've just put these little two just there just so i've got options if i ever want them and then i use spoolies and my uh, tweezer and eyelash curler a lot and then my lip glosses so that is all my makeup pretty much done this is nearly empty let me just put my i'm gonna wash all my brushes but i'm just putting them so they've got a home 
this is how this is looking much better so i'm going to take everything off clean it and then we'll put the skincare put everything back on desk looks so much better this is the little skincare kind of little turntable lazy susan i've got my little gratitude journal and my manifestation planner and then this is what it looks like so top drawer the same i've just added my jewelry behind and some makeup wipes then in here i've literally just added my makeup mirror in here is my technology drawer, but I just um, tidied it up a little bit. It doesn't look tidy, but I don't know how to keep cables tidy. And then in here is just U-Glow totes. And then in here is my hair drawer. So I've just got like my brushes, combs, um, headbands, hair bubbles, whatever you can see. Um, and then in the next, I'm going to have to buy some more storage in order to sort these out. Because this is all stationary. <laughs> So this all needs to be, this is Uglo stuff. And now we're gonna move on to this. Okay, I just had to change my battery because it was dead. There's a fly buzzing around and it's really annoying me. Now on to my least favorite thing that I actually wanna do. I really don't wanna clear this out to be honest, but it's a mess. I've just put everything that I wanna throw away in the washing up basket. Um, let me just, it's the wrong drawer. I don't know what the organisation progress is going to be, if I'm being honest with this. I don't know. There isn't much of an organisation process going on anyway. So let me bring you over. Let's just wheel the hoover over here. These two pads need to go downstairs. It's gone very dark, so sorry about the bad lighting. This this side is all you glow, so I'm not going to touch this side just because it's not interesting for you and I'm not ready to sort it out. So it's not terrible. This is just what it looks like. And at the top is like hair, makeup. No, it's like hair, skin body but there's stuff in here that's like pretty much empty stuff i'm not using stuff that just needs to go in the bins let's bring you a bit closer okay so i've got heatless curls here like period patches like it's like miscellaneous stuff i would say so let's pull all this out and then try and organize it a little bit better pull this out because there's stuff I just don't reach for, stuff that's like I just shove back in here and I'm not going to use. Like this shrine, I really enjoyed it, but now because I go to the hairdresser, I don't think I'm going to reuse it. But I really do recommend this. It made my hair look really, really nice. I just don't think I'm going to use it before, what's the date? 12 months. I've already had it six, so I just can't imagine me using skin. But this is really good, so I'm going to chuck that away. This is the Travel Milano Easy Feel Perfume Spray. 
I've got no idea what this is or who it is from or what perfume is in it. Oh, I don't think there is one. I think, oh, I think it's like what I take on holiday to fill up. I don't really know how you do it. Take the cap off. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to Google that, won't I? Just the boxes are quite bulky. I would low key like to put my perfumes on display. That ring is literally a different colour, but I'm just not going to. This is an empty deodorant. Let me know if you think Isla is shit now. I used to absolutely love it, but I just think it's rubbish now. Like, I feel like they've changed the formula and it's just been crap ever since. Okay. Top shelf is empty. I low-key would, like I said, like a little organiser, but I just don't have one. So that's something for the future. So, should we do the eating section? So everything hair. So I've got the Hair Proud Glass hair activated shine spray love what other hair stuff have we got here we've got the mark hill working styling spray uh, we've got color wow color wow so let's put these together the two mark hill we've got sebastian professional that i like to use then we've got I'm pretty much out of this. Really enjoyed the L'Oreal. Oh, I have got a bit actually. Metal Detox Oil. We've got Pantene somewhere up here. And then what else we've got? This is the Bond Styling Restore Styling Cream from Bond Bold. What a Bold Flex. I don't really know what this does. You like put it in as like a treatment. So I'll put that there. Any more hair stuff? This is more like styling hairspray. So we've got the bold. Let's put this here. And then we've got. So, like, the problem is this doesn't stand up in there. So we're going to have to lie that down, which just annoys me, but it's okay. This is hair stuff, so I don't think anything else is very hairified. So we'll just put the colour out at the back, this at the front, and then I think that is all of the way matte pomade here. And then if we can't fit any more hair, body's going to be a small section, so let's put that in next. We've got some SBF, so we've got the super drug one and then we've got the hawaiian tropic which is my absolute favorite i've used it for years so i'll put that here and then we've got this which is like the brazilian bum bum cream a lot of my moisturizers just live in a basket in there because me and dan will use them of an evening but oh we've got some more hair products i'm working with weller so i can't give you a review but i've got the dream smooth and nourish spray the pre-styling cream and then the rich oil dry hair so i'll put these here so they're easy accessible for the collab so we've got three things for the body is there anything else oh and we've got the color wow for the hair too i'm missing little things aren't i dry shampoo is that gonna stand oh that stands up so maybe we'll put this just like here body so we've got like fake tan a lot of my fake tan lives downstairs but for instant tan i'd like to keep it in here because you never know when you're gonna need it i saw my skinny tan one somewhere Oh, she's here. Skinny tan and then Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Classic. So I'll put this probably in front. And along with the... Actually, 
sure I'll try that one downstairs. We want a face tan. So the t I've hung most of them up on my skincare thing, but the ones that didn't fit were the tanologists, which I wasn't obsessed, but I need to give another go. And then the crazy angel ones somewhere around here. Um, these I never really use and they don't really last very long. Like, I don't really use for them these perfumes by L, but I loved the other one. There's this one is much nicer like rose and narashi pear and vanilla and praline. So, I'm gonna put these maybe like going to like less expensive, like long, less lasting perfumes. Like, Mazara love Deep Garden, but it doesn't last the best. Um, same with this Soleil Decade by Zara. And then I love this, but they're, maybe we'll just put smaller perfumes here. That's Burberry Her. I love this, but I just, I've let it go out of date, but it was really good and I would like to rebuy it. And it basically helps like strawberry skin and things like that. It's an AHA Renewal Body Serum. So I'd like to rebuy that because I actually really, really liked it. This, again, Snow Fairy Body Spray. I'm not going to be wearing it often, so I'm just going to put it at the back. But I don't want to throw it because obviously I've spent money on it. And then at the back, my little OG Colleen perfume I'm going to put here. So like I'm going to go to favourites like that, I think. Like this Zara one, it smells really good, but not obsessed. This is Femi by Zara. And then we've got the two Baccarats we'll put next, I think. Two Baccarats. And then we're going to go... These are more my absolute favourites. We've got Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. I've got a Good Girl blush kicking around somewhere because that is my absolute all-time favourite perfume. Then we've got Burberry Her. Then we've got another back wrap that is empty. Then we've got this is Delina, um, perfume Damali Delina, dupe by a more sense. It's Love Potion, which is really nice. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to put in the. I'm pretty much out, but I'm going to keep putting use last because it's expensive. The Brazilian Crush. So de Janeiro perfume and I'm going to then put Fame, Valentino, she's pretty much gone but I'm going to get every last bit because I love Valentino, Born in Roma, Dior, Miss Dior and I think that is all, this is just like a little spray but I think I'm just going to put this in the car, the, it's like alien dupe so I'm going to leave that for there because I feel like that. Oh, Ariana Grande, Frankie Next 2.0. Don't love. I bought because of Erin Bow, yeah. Um, because I love Ariana Grande, Frankie Next, the first one. But I don't love this one as much, if I'm being honest. So I'm just going to put her back here. And then Carolina Herrera, Good Girl Blush needs to go in. And then left over on the floor, we've got one of Dan's aftershaves, which he can, I don't know, put somewhere. And then I've got this Crazy Angel Body Highlighter, which I think. I don't really know what to do. Maybe I'll put it with the... If I shift these over, I can put these together. But I feel like that top shelf looks organised. This is all like miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to organise this and I'll come back to you. Okay, in here isn't the most aesthetically pleasing, but it works. So I've literally got more like tall things here and stuff I don't really use that often. I really want to try the Pretty and Bronzed Gradual Tannin Moisturiser. So I'm going to use that. Maybe I should bring that forward a little bit so I use it more. Because I'm not going to use the body highlighter that much. Maybe we should put that to the back. And the same with the instant tan. Well, I don't actually use instant tan very much at all. So maybe I should do this. And then we've got hair stuff, tan for the face perfumes deodorant at the front and then here we've got my heated rollers these are just like spare headbands heatless curlers hairspray and like bigger products and i've got like period patches here when i'm on my period 
um, Dan's little deodorant and then this is good for like if I'm doing instant tan and stuff I've got some little affirmations my mum bought me I've got some face razors, my safety keys little perfume samples and then my Disney headband and then the only thing else I'm going to put in there is this little travel makeup bag and this little quote that I'd have put in a Uglo post and it says don't stop when you're tired stop when you're done so that is done now let's move up here ready to see the final tour Ta -da! we are done and it looks so much better how insane does this look i'm so happy with it like look at the room i've still got a lot of clothes but it's it's so much better so this is just like long coats i don't really know what to do with and i don't want to vacuum pack them all um, and then on here we've got like cardigans, jackets, blazers and then my most worn shoes and then a couple of my nice bags and then we've got bag drawer, shorts and leggings and then we've got sports bras, my slippers, my goggles, swimming costumes and uh, like less casual sports bras slash bras, caps my dust bags for my designer bags and then we've got some baggy tees over there and then we come over here and we've got all my shirts and dresses now it's summer i feel like i don't reach for this sort of stuff enough so i wanted it to be there and available so i'm like oh you know and then i've got my crocs and my little sandals and then we've got underwear dan's more mostly work stuff and very chill stuff and then we've got some more of his stuff in here like trousers shorts things like that and then these are all my tracksuits you know i'm the tracksuit queen i feel like i'm gonna be in here puffing everything down every two minutes but there are my tracksuits and then over here we have from all dance stuff and i haven't color coordinated it like i have mine but this is just all these like t-shirts to long things and my nan sorted this so maybe i'll color coordinate it i'm not 100 percent sure and then we've got his shoes at the bottom and then coming over to coming over here like i got rid of so many tops and that's exactly what i wanted to do so we've got like corsets sleeveless to like short t-shirts and bodysuits and then long sleeves to long bodysuits and we've got so much room like look at all these empty hangers and then coming over here to the trousers we've got my shorts cargoes joggers jeans all in like color color coordinated then under here is just all spare hangers there's so much room but i like that the long tops kind of cover and then we've got the shoes here that is my uglo stuff and it's not the nicest vibe but i can't really do a lot about it here again we're thinking of getting another wardrobe here to like but full of like storage so that's something to think about out you know in the future then i've got my sunglass holder and then coming to my desk how much better does this look this is uglo boxes and a couple of spare hangers so ignore that but my actual desk We've got my little skincare Lazy Susan from TikTok shop. We've got a little candle, P. Louise planner, P. Louise big journal. There's my gratitude journal, my manifestation, my laptop. And then in here, like I showed you, makeup and jewellery, rest of my makeup. And then technology drawer. And then the only drawer that's like settled here is my hair drawer. 
and then coming over here it's just like a little i've got my big gold mirror from dunham i've got my vision board a couple of little books that little i don't really need that but i don't want to get rid of it just in case i need it in the future and then a couple of little books there and then this is all sorted in here it looks so much better when you come in this is what it looks like how nice it looks so spacious i'm obsessed so that is the end of my very long but for a clean organized dressing room so i hope you enjoyed i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye